Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you first of all I would like to say happy new year to everybody and I hope this coming year will be the best uh, to come to you however what is going to come is not based in my wishes or yours just do your best to be good and to do good to others and if you want good to come to you you better be good to others uh, our topic today is very simple you know we know that the Muslims have tons of articles about uh, Christmas is forbidden to celebrate and New Year is haram but you know the, the, the issue is well, whatever the statement they try to say to you in the videos about the excuse of not celebrating the Christmas I believe the Muslims they feel very bad because they don't have any kind of happiness and in the same time you will see all the articles made by Muslims uh, about not to celebrate uh, Christmas uh, is, is is very funny and very stupid and it's not working obviously if we click right now and we search in YouTube right now as we speak about how many Islamic countries are celebrating Christmas you will not believe it starting from the most aggressive one against Christianity which is Pakistan right now there's live podcast actually we can watch live you know but uh, we know that there's copyright over videos so why Islamic countries who hate too much Christianity they are celebrating Christmas and the New Year it doesn't make sense but in fact it does you see if you are a Muslim you are desperately looking for happiness your religion focusing in two things a ritual which have nothing to do with happiness a duty to do and the joy of a Muslim is to have four wives in the bed have orgy sex or orgy sex and have uh, Billy full of food and uh, yummy yummy that is Islam it's forbidden music for but you know if you open any Islamic TV it started from the most aggressive one like Pakistan as I said you will find that the music play a big role in Islam in Islamic countries but yet it's haram it's forbidden and that is one of the reasons Muslims they are looking for happiness because this cult made them do nothing for a living or let us say to enjoy their life except eat and sex eat and sex there's nothing everything is haram even chess is a haram any kind of fun is haram actually if you think about it even soccer is football is haram but because you know they cannot you know I mean they have to get over it they spend every year hundreds of millions of dollars to celebrate the Christmas including in Saudi Arabia it's not a secret or in Dubai or 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 all over you know okay it's haram but yet the Muslims and nobody can stop the Muslims from celebrating the Christmas or celebrating the new year Eve so what's happening what's wrong it's very simple this is stupid cult try to kill your sense of of, of uh, reason to life to live you know you, it, it, it try to make you desperate so you commit suicide and this is why you see people don't want to do jihad there's nothing to live for so you start dreaming about let me go to heaven maybe there there's more fun let me go to heaven and uh, there's the version waiting for me so it it kill every kind of joy in your life and then make you feel so desperate and you hate everybody and you hate every yourself and you hate your life and you decide to go I don't want to stay here no more because there's no reason to to stay or to live so what the Muslims do in a new year Eve and in the Christmas is a great example of the failure of Islam to satisfy the needs of a human being you see the Muslim they say to us that Islam is a religion of fitrah and what you ask them what fitrah and you say the nature of a human being I said well nature is the nature of a human being if he hear the music will not dance <laughs> that's stupid is the nature of a human being is not to be to be forbidden from dancing is the nature of a human being that his life is just as the joy of it is just a sex and food why is it even animals they enjoy music
where is the nature of the human being so when they say to us Islam is a religion of the fitra it's a, it's a joke it's a stupid it's disgusting actually this is not the nature of a human being is the joy of a of a human being that when he see a blood of a of, of a person coming from his neck he rejoice and he jump and he say Allahu Akbar is that the fitra to chop the head of a human being like me and dance over his then then only then dancing is allowed and then we praise God so we don't praise God for music we don't praise God for something beautiful we praise God for bloodshed we praise God for slaughtering a human being or a, or a child or for raping a woman Islam is nothing but a failure and this is why we see the Muslims they are desperately looking for happiness and they do everything in their hand and in their pocket to buy happiness but I say to the Muslims if you want to have a real happiness really in your country you better get rid of the cult of Islam it is the reason of every disaster you have in your life it doesn't matter how much you try to buy happiness you cannot buy it there is something missing you know I saw an interview made made in some Islamic countries and the Muslim woman she was saying to a Christian lady we love your holidays this is why me and my family always will celebrate them I mean what is missing is to say we love to be Christians but why I mean Islam supposedly is everything you need I mean if you have a if you have Allah and you have Muhammad what do you need more this is what they say to us Islam is perfect complete Islam is a garbage Islam is a reason for depression actually right now as we speak there's a hundred of thousands of soldiers and policemen around the world trying to guard you from attack will be done by Islam I don't want to say Muslims I want to say Islam because this is the reason this is Islam there's Muslims who don't care they want to dance and they want to have fun and they want, they want to hurt anyone and there is a religious Muslim who believe in Allah and he love what Muhammad taught him he is a criminal like he's a prophet and he is going to jump in the middle of nowhere and try to drive a car and go over the people and kill as many so as we speak right now there is more than 40,000 soldiers in Turkey in Istanbul alone Istanbul as we speak right now is boiling with Muslims celebrating a new year Eve same as all Islamic Turkish but yet their president is an Islamic terrorist and he want to practice Islam but this coward he don't want Islam really in his country he want only the title He claimed he is the head of the Muslim Brotherhood in Turkey. His party is Islamic. They want the women to wear hijab. But today, there's hundreds of thousands of Muslims or millions drinking wine and whiskey. However, by the way, this has nothing to do with us. Drinking and those things have nothing to do with us. This is not how you celebrate the New Year Eve. For us as a Christian, every day is the day of the Lord. However, the new year for us is very important for its confirming the impact of the name of the Messiah in every human being in this earth. As we speak right now, billions of people all the world are celebrating one thing, the year of the Messiah. The Hindus, the Buddhas, the, the, the atheists, the Christian, the Jews, the Muslims, all celebrating one thing. This is not a new year, Eve. This is the year of the Lord. So I say to the Muslims, if Islam brings you solutions, how come you are desperate for happiness? How come Islam make you feel like a goat? A goat who wake up in the morning have one duty to do and sleep and you know like uh, you know 
the most boring life really is going to be a life of someone he is a Muslim music is haram okay so what we listen to Quran Quran my friend listen Quran beautiful Quran <laughs> the Quran where it says you know kill them wherever you find them or if you cannot if you cannot be fear with the orphan and he's talking about having sex with the orphan <laughs> I mean, even justice with the orphan is about sleeping with them. Islam really make a human being lose the touch of humanity inside him, make him live like a creature who have nothing to do or worry, programmed creature, except making certain movement in the morning, saying certain words, even those words are not all his own, repeating those words for the rest of his life doing certain ritual like going before, the, before even before you enter the bathroom even the bathroom in Islam became a threat because Muhammad he said if you don't say the prayer before you enter the bathroom shaitan will play with your anus so Muhammad he put fear in the heart of the Muslims it doesn't matter what they do even the bathroom became like going as if you are going on a journey and this journey is very risky so you have to make a prayer before you enter the bathroom otherwise shaitan is doing a conspiracy against your anus not against you no no shaitan is focusing as we speak in your anus so Muhammad made the Muslims live their day in a horror thinking that everything is doing conspiracy against them there is a Muslim snake and there is a there's a kuffar snake there is a ch Christian chicken and there is a Muslim chicken there is a there is a Muslim pig and there's a Christian pig there's a Christian and the weir and there's a Muslim and the weir everything have a religion and the Muslims believe in conspiracy in everything around them that's why they get offended from anything you eat pork they get offended you have a cross they get offended uh, 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 you you play music they get offended they get offended from anything but he made them lose the sense of living as a human so I say to the Muslims I wish you a happy new year and I pray to the Lord he will open your eyes and you will see the beauty of not being a Muslim I'm not going to say the beauty of being a Christian this is your choice but I say to you I hope you feel and you see the beauty of being a free from this cult this cult is nothing but a chains around your hands around your neck and they fool you with a lot of promises and you know look at the hypocrisy of Muhammad adultery is haram but you can do muta marriage. You can rent a woman for five minutes to have sex with her. Doing a charity is a must. But it's okay to be unjust to anyone you wish as long he don't agree with Muhammad. They cut the hand of a thief for a steer and egg when Muhammad he torture a man. He beat him until he died in order to know where he saved his treasure, his money. They told us that we are forbidden from drinking wine for it is bad. And then Muhammad, he promised them that in the heaven of Allah, there is rivers of wine. And the excuse is they will not make us drunk. <laughs> They say to us, in our religion, we are against injustice. But Muhammad, he said, if a Muslim kill a Muslim, he will be killed. But if a Muslim kill non-Muslim, he will not be killed. They told us in Islam, we are taught to be justice to our wives. But yet the Quran says you can beat them as if they are animals. Actually, animals in USA and Europe have more rights than a Muslim woman.
if you beat a woman in Islamic world and she called the cops for her husband the cops will laugh at her for she have no right to complain if you beat a dog in USA you will serve at least between six months to five years in jail for beating a dog that is Islam so I say to the Muslims my friend even though you don't believe I am your friend the best joy to know is what Jesus said love your enemy the second you practice that then you will find yourself is enemy free and then you can close your eyes and you will not be worried about enemies and every one of us if he practice this sentence just one sentence of the teaching of the Messiah love your enemy you can imagine how beautiful this earth will be don't follow a man he make you enemy to everybody even those who want to be your friends we as a Christians we don't want to be enemies for the Muslims and we don't want to hate them and we don't want to have a war with them but the question is can you be a Muslim and be a peaceful person who don't have enemies can a person who believe that anything around him is a conspiracy don't have enemies can someone believe in chapter 5 verse 51 chapter 3 verse 28 chapter 9 verse 23 where it says even your father and your brother cannot be your friends can you be without enemies when your Quran is making you even having enemies from your own family for no reason just because they don't believe in your belief isn't it obvious that Muhammad is the devil and he is trying to divert you from being a human being who live in peace and harmony with your neighbors with your friends to friend everybody why you want to be an enemy to someone who is a Hindu and he want to be friend to you why you want to be an enemy for someone who is a Christian atheist why there is only one reason for Muhammad is nothing but as a sick man who is following the devil so I want to say to the Muslims happy new year I really I wish you a happy new year and I pray that you will learn how to enjoy being a human in this coming new year a human being who don't dream about killing slaughtering driving car over the crowd a human being who is hate free a human being who like to be a human for all these actions is not a human action even animals don't do that I pray today that we will have a safe time for everybody around the world from all kind of ethnic from all kind of religion whoever are celebrating this evening today they will go back home safe and I hope that there is no terrorist will be able or successful to harm anyone in this night I want to thank they say thank you for those who support what I do those who uh, help me in my mission and uh, I don't want to keep you here for long because maybe you are with your family me myself I'm working with my book or let us say my books and almost I'm done uh, with uh, with one book soon is going to be sent to proofreading and we have the new book the German translation for Quran and science uh, I'm working on that too it might take me uh, some time before we make it ready but maybe uh, you know uh, two weeks from now is going to be ready for you to have it so enjoy your time and don't forget that the new year can be a very good occasion for you to remember what you did in the last year and if you did something wrong you better do recalculation you know and nothing wrong with admitting that you are doing wrong or you did wrong the one who don't do that he will not roll really that he need to correct himself and he need to change you know when we grow uh, by age yesterday should not be the same as today and tomorrow should be better a person who was better yesterday or better last year and this year is getting worse 
that's mean everything he is doing is the opposite from the way it should be so think about what you did in the last year what you accomplished where is the mistakes even when it's come to normal life like financial uh, you know jobs uh, work etc friends try to fix try to review don't just make it a night will go and the same time don't forget to ask the Lord to guide you to be your helper to fix what is missing and to fix what is wrong and if you have a friend who you think he is uh, you know did something wrong to you try with this new year evening if you go to the church to pray before the middle of the night as some many tradition they do try to forgive before you ask your Lord for forgiveness for you remember that when they asked the Lord how we pray he said you pray like that our father out of heaven and then he said forgive to us the same as we forgive to others so it's a very important requirement in Christianity that you are not being qualified to ask for forgiveness unless you forgive for others otherwise if you don't forgive you don't deserve forgiveness and with this I say forgive me all of you if I was rude with some of you with some of you one day uh, harsh sometime the mission I do is very tough and many of you will not be able to handle it even for five minutes if you put yourself in my place God bless and thank you very much for being with me happy new year my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ and happy new year for the Hindus for the Buddhas and really I appreciate those people because many of them they are really wonderful and I really appreciate them but yet I pray to the Lord that they will come to my Lord and they will know him same time special message to the Muslims we don't hate you and from my heart I wish you a happy new year thank you everyone Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that and see you soon again bye bye